enter a name. Well, I know what I'm going to name myself. There we go. I shall go by keyword. Actually, no, I'm just going to go by key. Oh, crap. I pushed the wrong button. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I pushed the wrong button. Also, what is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> what? Select the draconian quest restrictions you wish to- What? What? What the heck? No! What is that, like, hard mode? No, thank you. Oh, goodness. I, mm. Wait, how do I backspace? I was just about to say that little thing is so adorable. Now it looks kind of evil. I played this game before. I just... I forgot a lot of stuff about it though. But yeah, I played this before and I made it to the end. But then there was some more stuff to do at the end and I never like did the after game. But it's been a while since I played this so... I don't remember everything that happens. Child. That being said, I won't spoil it. There's the mark. There's no mistaking it. Some rain ASMR. Oh. Well, the rain won't do much against that now, will it? That being said, the fire is really messing up the rain ASMR, isn't it? We're way ahead of them because they have no heads. I was trying to make a head pun, but I I, I don't know if it really landed. All right, I'm gonna head out. No, let me stop. <laughs> Well, if it isn't Master Roshi, no, that man looks nothing like Master Roshi. And after that awful storm, too. However, did you survive? <laughs> You're a jolly one. Then again, you poor thing. maybe like a bigger Master Roshi? I mean, it's the same art style. That's such a video game thing, like a baby just appears and somebody just picks the baby up and raises it. Does stuff like that happen in real life? Like if you just saw a baby just floating in the river, would you just take the baby and take care of it? Like would you adopt it, like legally? I don't think I would. Thank 
Thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. Oh, wait. Do I have to push the button? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Hmm? <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. <laughs> So as you can see, I am the silent protagonist. I don't say anything. Um, I actually like silent protagonist. I used to uh, prefer uh, protagonist that talked, but I don't know. I just I ended up getting really super used to the silent protagonist, and just I don't know. I just I like the silent protagonist. Nothing against protagonists that talk and have personality, but I do like the silent protagonist. I really do. Probably because when you give a silent protagonist your name, it just it feels like you are that character, like you become that character. Okay. The path gets pretty steep up. <laughs> the path gets pretty steep up on the tour, so be sure to watch your footing. But don't let that make you stick to the beaten track. Little detours are where you find all the fun stuff, like secret items. And that's what I would think. To thank you and Gemma are all grown up already. I can remember you two lit lunds herring ground the place causing trouble like it was yesterday. Ah, uh, time flies. It really does. It really does. Time really does fly. So it's time for you to head up the tour, I hear. Mind you don't slip, it's a long way down. Oh, don't worry. He would never let me fall. Ah, uh, what would you do without him, eh? Well, Ki, you heard the lady. Make sure she comes to no harm. You have nothing to worry about. I will protect her. I am the hero of this game, so it's kind of my job to protect you and her and everyone, really. I'm the hero. The symbols on the side of the tour represent the spirit of the land, you know. The spirit has always watched over the people of Cobblestone. The coming of age ceremony is one of the ways we show our gratitude for its protection. You know, the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you off at the top of the steps, don't you? Don't keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, if you're ever in need of some advice or you're stuck for what to do, have a chat with folks with pretty pink speech bubbles above their heads like me. Just press swear and look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, use the R joystick to change the direction you're facing. It's a handy little trick, trust me. Uh, uh, look at that, it is a handy little trick. I trust ya, I trust ya. And what's the other button she told me, swear? Huh, look at that. Hey, a little triangle action. All right, she has um led me in the right direction. Taught me some stuff. We've all been through it, you know? We've all climbed to the top of the tour. I remember it like it was yesterday. But I can't tell you what I found up there. No, that's something you'll just have to find out for yourself. Okay. You know, I'm not sure I've ever seen the two of you apart. And to think you're all grown up already. Is that wedding bills I hear? Hee <laughs> hee. No, you're just a senile old lady. You don't hear nothing. Grandma, honestly. Oh, sorry, that was your grandma. Well, I stand by what I said. Oh, let an old woman have her fun, will you? Now, Key, you look after my lovely granddaughter, you hear? All right. This way we go. Key, seeing you and my dear Gemma all set for your big day makes me proud as anything, both as mayor and as a grandfather. You're not kids anymore, you know? No, you're all grown up now. And that means going to the tour and offering your thanks. 
Now it's time you are on your way. Head up to the top, give praise to the spirit of the land, then come back down and tell us how you like the view. Oh, and if you're ever unsure what to do next, try pressing triangle and selecting party talk. Gemma might have some useful tips for you. Just look at you, Key, my little boy all grown up. Now be sure to look after Gemma, you hear? Everybody is telling me to look after Gemma. Goodness, how about look after me? Whatever, I'm the hero, I'm strong, it's whatever. Now be sure to look after Gemma, you hear? Yes, because everybody keeps saying it. To think you've been inseparable since you were tiny, and here you are, about to climb the tour together. Oh, and if you ever lose your way, just follow Sandy. That dog's got m more sense than any of us. Off you go now, dear. I know the two of you will be just fine, and I'll make sure there's a delicious supper waiting for you when you get back. And then when I get back, are you going to tell me to look after Gemma some more while she's eating the supper? Is that what you're going to tell me? Goodness, these people. All I care about is look after Gemma. Look after Gemma. Like, goodness. What about me? What about me? Although, to be fair, I'm the one with the sword. What does she have? A scarf? What, what do you... Whatever. The path ahead will at times be a steep one, but fear not, my children, for the spirit of the land shall watch over you. May your climb teach you how truly blessed we are to live among such beautiful surroundings. We will pray for your safe return. I'm talking to everybody. <laughs> Core, just look at that view. It's beautiful, isn't it? Whenever you find someone with lovely scenery like this, you should take the time to stop and bask in the wonder of nature. It always does me the power of good. Oh, one thing I didn't do is I didn't push triangle for party talk. Oh, there we go. Brilliant! It's our big day, Key. We finally get to go and do the ceremony. We're going to be grown-ups at last. <laughs> it looks like Sandy's as excited as we are. Come on, let's get moving. We don't want her to get to the top before us. Alright. I remember the older games having the party talk, but it wasn't done like that. I like how it's done in this game, I really do. Oh dearie me. Where can that boy have got to this time? I just hope he hasn't decided to go up the tour on his own. No, he wouldn't be that stupid, surely. Ah, he'll be the death of me, that one. Yeah, I think when the, I think for the old games when they did party talk, they didn't actually show you like the character standing there. I think. I think that the text would appear, and that was it, if I'm not mistaken. It, it's been a while since I've played the older games, though, so. I, I, who knows? I could just be, I, I, I could just be saying stuff that's not true at all. <laughs> Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? I, I mean, I, I don't know. I just started playing. Is it? You tell me. My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on Cobblestone Tour, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? It is a strange thing to do. Like, could you imagine... Could, like, could you imagine, like, having to, like, climb Mount Everest or something just to prove that you're an adult? Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on, then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh. Way. 
Slimes. The classic slimes. So you're just gonna stand there and do absolutely nothing. Even the dog is helping. Even the dog is helping. You gotta be kidding me. So you're just gonna stand there and do absolutely nothing. You gotta be kidding me. Oh goodness. I appreciate you cheering me on, but... <sighs> Whatever. Medicinal Crikey. herbs. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. Yeah, this is a really strange thing to send people to do. Go climb that mountain that's filled with monsters. Yeah, this is a great idea. This is, this is this is a wonderful tradition that our people have come up with. And now we've got to go through that horrible dingy cave. Just our luck. If we weren't born on the same day, how would she have been able to, like, how would she have handled this? Would she have just taken the dog? Like, cause she obviously can't fight. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. Like, everybody's like, take care of Gemma. What if I wasn't here? Then who was going to take care of Gemma? Like, <laughs> goodness. That being said, she she realizes that I am helping her and she does appreciate my help. Like, she knows that she's weak. What's this over here? Oh, this is the prayer that she just said. And she was like, it goes like that, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's literally what she just said, I think. Oops! Oh, I had a feeling there was going to be a treasure chest back there. Because it's like the lady said did something about... Don't just take the forward path, take the untraveled path. She said something. So, let me just. Had a feeling there would be something hitting off the um, normal path route. Alright, let's see. Equipment. Oh, actually, if there's anything I remember. It, hold up, let me think. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I think this outfit is from Dragon Quest 8. Wait, huh? What? Oh, that's weird. I could have sworn that the game allowed you to put this outfit on. And you actually see yourself wearing this outfit. Oh well. Alright, I got my pot lid. Wait, do I have to... There we go. I had to put everything on together. Okay, I had to put the scarf on. Okay. There we go. This just feels right to me. It just, it takes me back. I love the Dragon Quest series. I really do. 